Hello and welcome to episode four of the Milk Bar podcast, the bi-weekly Milkmen podcast where we focus on comedic commentary, pop culture from the week prior, gaming, TV news, and we talk about food as well. Today I'm joined by Ellis, Christopher, Daniel, and then obviously myself, Oshan. Unfortunately, Simon couldn't be with us today because he's fallen back into a coma. So we never, wish never him... left it. You what? Never left it. No. Right, so man. we wish him the best of luck in recovery. Did you write that? Yeah, that's like a memorial to him. Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he fucking might be soon. Never know. <laughs> God knows how long he's going to be in this one for. What about Stephen, though? Where's Stephen? So Stephen's just an absolute useless cunt who forgot that we were recording today, so that's why he's not here. Oh. He, instead, he decided, I'm going to go to work. So, well, What I, a soft blanket move. Yeah. So we also hope that he has a swift recovery because I'm going to beat the living shit out of him. <laughs> tiny dick energy from Steven. Yeah, fuck off. Right. I, I also have tiny dick energy. <laughs> oh, I thought you said big game, dick energy. No, game recognizes game. Yeah. Are we all doing though? You all right? No. Yeah, good. Why are you... Right. Dying. Before we started recording, so you're ill. like, oh, my, my main aim is just to gaslight you every episode. That's my thing. I'm gaslighting you. I'm going to be nice to the others. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's something on Nice to us. Yeah, I don't believe I that for a second. Not, I'll suck you off. That doesn't sound pretty nice. Can we do that, that after the podcast nice. first? <laughs> What's he going to do to you, though? That would make What's a good opposite? TikTok, wouldn't it? Wait, what? What, me sucking out as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, we all had a good week, though, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, as far as I remember. All right, yeah. well, that brings us into our week in six seconds, which is where all of the milkmen go through what they've done in the past week within six seconds, not five, not four, but six. So, who's going to go first? How many seconds? Six, mate. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you hurt my feelings. Was it seven? No, right. I thought it was can, we, can we not do this? Can we not do this <laughs> every, every single time? I'm, every, I'm really bad so, at counting. So, right. wait a minute. How, uh, so, so, what you're saying? <laughs> six. Are you mad? Six seconds? Yeah, six. Right. Do you know why we actually chose six seconds initially? No. Because there's six of us? Effing right, there is. But is that the reason? Yeah. I thought it was just a random number. No. So shouldn't it, shouldn't it go down to four when there's only four of us? Shit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, mate. Welcome we to our it. week in four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's in one word. <laughs> not five, not six, but four. So six seconds, okay. No, fuck. <laughs> right, no, seriously, who's going to go first? <laughs> who who was last time? We meant to choose two people I think, to do it. I think it was no, no. me and, was it you last time? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, in the in the first three episodes, it was just two of us, but from now on, oh, we all just gonna we're do all going to go through okay. them <coughs> together. Yeah, sure. So, Chris, go for it. Chris, you know, <laughs> Alice, you've got a time in. Yep, I'll get that up. Hang on, you'll get me up Hang in on. a minute. The pressure, I'm trying to think. <laughs> my heart's racing. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, His heart's a racist. racist. My heart. <laughs> right, I'm ready to. <laughs> like all the racists, ready to roll. He's ready and rolling. Ah, Chris. Alice, no, stop. Hang on. I haven't, I haven't started Hang on, it. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Help me, please. I'm going to lose everything. <laughs> um, okay. I don't... <laughs> just, just go with the flow. Right. That's the point of it. Let's go on, start me. Three. Oh, uh, uh, was that the countdown? Okay. Yeah. I worked. I did some games. And that's got to be six seconds. Time, yeah. Ah, oh, mate. So is that the same as one with this? <laughs> 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 Literally, like... Every single episode is going to get a bit boring when you all say, I went to work. <laughs> I'm trying to play some games. I honestly don't think I've done anything like that. Yes, you have. Have you enjoyed work? Oh, Let's the gym. Elaborate. The gym. We started a new oh. gym. Yeah, but we, we don't care gym. now because you didn't say it within six, the fucking... Oh, right, forget oh. about that. Forget about that. So could you not count gym as work, though? Because I'm working out. Ah, ah. see? <laughs> I saved it. So go on. What was this gym story about? Oh, the whole story is... There's a gym, mm. and I started going to it. Hot damn! I know it's a good deal though. Yeah. Like me and me and you obviously joined together, so, so we know the context be between like you leaving the last gym, yeah. and now you've got this new gym, which I'm guessing is like equal distance to where you initially went. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Right. It's probably a bit closer to me, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it's still yeah in the same. Area. Either way, it's like not nothing has changed too much. No. Oh, good. 
like we're paying five pound more a month, but we get so many more benefits. Oh, like, there's, there's certain benefits to the other gym as well, like being shouted at. Uh, being treated like a cold. Yeah, yeah, it's freezing um, cold. It's freezing cold. Yeah. The gym owner's a fucking psychopath. There's mm. there's things that yeah, I miss yeah. about the old. Yeah, 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 exactly. But with the new one, it's like we're paying thirty five quid, mm. and we get access to a swimming pool, mm-hmm. and then some it's... children. <laughs> <laughs> like you got to take it there. <laughs> well, you got to give the context as to why. What attracted us to that gym specifically? <laughs> But we can go to other gyms in the area. We're yeah, like so selling the gym. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> right, yeah, fucking hell. Should we get Stop a job? Going, there, <laughs> Moving on. Ellis, do you want to go next? Uh, Sure, let me get my timer up. I haven't actually planned. He's put six hours say. on there. Yeah, <laughs> six hours. Here we go, boys. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, nope. God. You've only got six seconds. I know else. I've got six seconds, but I'm trying to actually think what I'm going to say. Um, fucking hell, none I, of you I've have started prepared, it. Oh. I have struggled to watch the rest of the Last of, Last of Us episodes. Fuck, there you go. <laughs> How many? Se- hang on, hang on. Well, if you count my stutter, six minutes, 30. Six, six minutes? minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking hell, you went over six seconds then. Well, there you so go. You, you did it in six seconds and 0.38. Yeah. So you can. You're shit. Yeah, but there you go. There's my week. What do you mean you struggled? Is it? Is it hang on, sorry to interrupt. Mm. Go what on. is this thing? This this segment because because it's who wins? Is it nobody? Is it? Nobody. The there's no there's, just, no. there's no prize. It's like an okay. icebreaker, really, isn't it? But I, fat penguin. <laughs> icebreaker. <Get> it. Ice- <laughs> <laughs> it just leaves. And what do you mean? You, so it took you a week to what? Yeah. Well, my Sky Atlantic wasn't working properly, so I was getting texts from Stephen, coincidentally enough, um, of. <laughs> like reviews of each episode and i was like mm. fuck off every time you would send me a so message so how many have you watched now then two so you've watched the second one yeah so you shit yeah like come on yeah the third one's probably third one i know a lot about the third one because nobody wants to not talk about it yeah it's like it's probably the fan favorite at the moment and it was a filler episode yeah, yeah like it was, was literally good. a filler episode but it was possibly the best one because mm. it was just so well set up and... yeah and i love nick offerman who does I love him in a different way now after that. Episode. Oh yeah, mate. Oh. I, I got well confused watching that. <laughs> I was like, am I gay? Like, why have I got a boner right now? <laughs> so that's a bit of a spoiler. Sorry, everyone. What? That he's gay? No. <laughs> he's got, he's got <laughs> I am after watching um, him. Fucking hell. I was gonna deviate quickly about this. So I know Oshan, you're a big fan of the American Office, aren't you? Yeah. Have you watched Parks and Rec? No, so but I've heard a lot of because good things about it. I feel like you'd really like that, mm. not just because of Nick Offerman. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's just got that same Nick vibe. Offman, Chris Pratt. <laughs> of the one thing I have seen about it, it was Nick Offerman, and he goes into the office, and mm. then um, I can't well, uh, the uh, I can't remember this name so, of this woman, but he goes up to her and goes, "How do I send this to Canada or something?" With a letter in his hand, and she's like, "Well, where's it going in Canada?" And he just went anywhere. It's going to Canada. It says Canada's shit, and that's literally it. That's great. That's yeah, all I've seen, seen in that. There's just so many lines like it goes, I've got a permit for something, and it just says, I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this one scene that always catches me is he's doing a like an interview, an office interview. Yeah. And the character name of Nick is Ron. But the same guy he's uh, interviewing is called Ron as well. And he's like, What's your name? The guy goes, Ron. And then he says, Is that your full name or your last? And then he says, Done. And then it cuts to like that interview segment where they do like in the office. Right. And then it's Nick just looking at camera saying, I like Ron. <laughs> it's like he's saying he likes himself because his name's Ron as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's just it's stupid good. things like that. Yeah. So is it worth a watch? Though? Definitely. Mm. Right. I'll watch that if you get up to date on The Last of Us. I'm trying, man. Today. But my Sky Atlantic, like I said, I, is. I don't wanna, that sounds like right an now. excuse. Yeah, let's go fair. and watch it right now. All on. right. I'm not. Get out. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Danny? Yeah. What? You ready to do your? Oh, oh he's actually left. Oh, oh, time is leaving, so just missed it off camera. He's shown his cock. Honestly, <laughs> he did just yeah. get naked and do the aeroplane. No, I've been helicopter. known to strip really quickly, but dress as well. Yeah. Anyway, Sorry. Danny. Sorry, Danny, Danny oh, Tyler, Tyler, Chief. Yeah. Sorry. Ready? Yeah. Three. I, I went to London for the week. Uh, I what mean, what did you do in London? Quick. Lost. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> Damn it. Um, so you've told us that you were going to London. Now you've returned. I have returned, yes. So Are you happy about it? Because you sound really fucking upset. That I've returned, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so how long were you away for? 
Um, five days. Bloody hell, it was longer than I actually thought. Well, I drove down with Osham on the Wednesday. Did I, you? I was only meant to go down on the Friday. Oh. Yeah. I went so, two days early. So you've spent all your money in London, I uh, have heard. Yeah, he told me, actually. He I was like, know. I spent far too fucking much. <laughs> so before we set up here, he told me a little bit, and I was like, wait until we're actually <sighs> rolling. So you need to... So something about Pokemon cards? Yeah, I, I spent £100 on Pokemon cards. See, I didn't know that you had a fascination with this stuff. It's, it's a new fascination. Okay, so is it like... uh. Like the, I don't know what you call it, the economy of Pokemon cards, I guess. Like um, the value of them and shit like that. Yeah, and they look cool. I like, I like <laughs> Do the you know anything about Pokemon, though? No, not really. That, that's more brother, uh, uh, brother's side of things. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, Simon? Or Andy. Yeah, your other brother. Yeah. I, I got a full art Pikachu with about 150 quid. So I'm, I made profit back. Though. Damn. What's the oh, rarest? so you didn't actually buy like a card that you knew what you were getting. You got a pack. Yeah, I got a. Two, I got two elite trainer packs. You spent fifty quid on one pack. Yes. And then I bought another one. And you didn't. While. And you didn't know what was in it. No. I'm. I'm kind of impressed by the like sheer stupidity, Idiocy, but also yeah. like the absolute win from this. Yeah. Do, um, do you know what? Simon's had the same thing when he opened CS:GO cases. He spent a hundred quid on it, and he made profit. Do you know how fucking hard that it's is? It's crazy that we've got to this place where we like have this kind of pop culture and like nerd culture where we're actually making ridiculous amount of money. Like when we used to like get like bogged down by like fucking jocks and shit saying mm. results to nothing. Apparently it does now. It's weird. Mm. How much did you spend in total when you were in London? Um, 900 quid. 900 pounds. Yeah. About that. I mean, that's... In how many days? Five. I mean, I spent well over that when we were there for two. Really? I wonder yeah. why. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Spent <laughs> on a shirt. I spent £350 on a fucking shirt from Harrods. It's a nice shirt, though, and it's silk. And I've only worn it twice. <laughs> That's how you know it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could have quite easily spent a lot more than that, though. Yeah, well, well you, you literally sent me a message yeah, while you were I, there. Yeah, I messaged him because he knows <clears throat> quite a bit more about audio than me. But those um, like headphones in Harrods, 700 quid. Mm. They were um, focal baths, I think they're called. Something like that, yeah. They um, look nice, but I knew very little about the brand themselves. So I was like, don't jump the gun with that. Yeah, but I um, I went there the day I was just wandering around on my own. Mm. And I went from my XM5s, which are incredible mm -hmm. quality, to them. And it immediately blew my mind mm. how much like how much better they were than mm. the Sony's. I think it was because it was attached to a device that actually amplifies the sound. Yeah. Uh, it's called an amp DAC system, where it basically turns digital audio into an analog source, which is the headphones. Mm. So that would make it look sound a lot more Fuck me. I know I'm a nerd. This is the most boring conversation yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> Talking about to. fucking audio. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> if it brings interest, you know. <laughs> Do you, know, no, do you know what I liked about uh, Harrods upstairs in the tech part? Mm. Do you remember the fucking dogs? Oh, the speaker? yeah, with the dogs and the speaker. What? And then that guy. Do, we, yeah. do you remember the guy? I, that, yeah. that guy. He's mate. like, oh, let me just put on a banger. Yeah, and, like, oh. and then they put on an absolute tune. So one of the people that worked there in mm. this audio section of Harrods, yeah. he was like, we were looking at these dogs, and he was like, oh, you like them? And we were like, yeah, they look pretty cool. And he was like, oh, do you want to... Do you want to hear it? And we were just like, felt a bit awkward. We were like, uh, yeah. And then he put on this song and we were like, oh, no, this is a well good tune. And then we were like, oh, what is this? So we can add it to our Spotify. And he's like, it's mine. I was like, no, yeah, I know. No, fuck off. Was it really? His? Yeah, but we didn't realize that yeah. first. We were like, oh, right. Yeah, I know it's on your Spotify, but whose is it? And he went, no, it's my song. And we were like, <laughs> that's mental. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> what? So then we were just vibing with the this guy. The gonads on that guy to play his own tune. I know, dead Harris. loud as well, because yeah. these dogs, mate, they were <laughs> barking. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck off. Wow. <laughs> they've, um, they've got a new, do you know how they had the racing sims yeah. lined up? You were saying the 25 grand on was way too much. Yeah. <laughs> they've got a new one there now. It's like a full motion rig. Right. 60 grand. You can buy a car. Like, <laughs> you definitely could. Yeah. Why? Or two. That's ridiculous. I want it. We you weren't allowed to actually use them while we no, were there. Still not. Oh, damn it. I tried. I tried. <laughs> so they, sorry, go on. They had a they had a PC set up there as well. Okay. With a forty nine in it. And oh my god, they're humongous. Like it I takes off the case. Anymore. Generally it's, it's genuinely like that. Isn't it the size of an Xbox? Yeah. It's there about, yeah. For anyone listening that doesn't understand, including Chris, what a forty ninety is, it's a graphics card yeah computer graphics for a card. computer 
What's a computer? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm assuming you didn't go out out when you were in London. Uh, we went to one nightclub. Wow, like that's a... that's rare for you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he said to me, he was like, "Yeah, we got into a fight. Yeah. Started like we oh, started a war. Elaborate. Yeah, that was that was the words he used. We started a war. And I was like, so what? so this nightclub we went to was mm. just a ball pit, basically. Okay. And one of the rules there, you weren't really allowed to throw the balls around. <laughs> but that obviously just went just out didn't the happen. window. <laughs> yeah, as soon exactly. as you. But, um, so me, me, and one of my friends started th- lobbing balls at random people. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, we're still talking about the yeah yeah right. ta- plastic balls yeah that, that bit hoping. comes later on um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're doing that and then people catch on and start like doing it back mm. and then there's like five groups of people just obliterating each other with balls that's basically. awesome and that's then it, it really got to the cool. point where there's the staff like kind of shoveling the balls back into the pit from the way from the stairs and they were just like <laughs> picking it up and throwing it back in and just attacking us all <laughs> and just everyone joined in that's amazing <laughs> Big ball party then. Big ball party. Nice. Big sweaty balls all over the place. <laughs> God knows what you were Put like that. in kindergarten. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was at the kindergarten. Right. No. Fair play. Oh, mate. Why do you have to... Oh, hang on. Is this the same place where you go to the gym? That makes sense. <laughs> I don't fucking know, to be fair. <laughs> right, my turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, why am I nervous now? I've I've literally wrote down what I did, and I'm nervous. <laughs> Cheater, ready? I nearly died in high school. I went to work in London. I bought a bargain, and I watched Ellis shit. <laughs> I fucking what? <laughs> I've completely forgot about the last one. But um, what's this bargain? Okay, so basically, I went to a local shopping mall, and I bought um a coat from Mountain Warehouse. Right mm. now, this is a bargain bucket. If I've ever seen Woo-hoo! one, what? you went to KFC too. Fuck <laughs> you! No, it was down from one hundred and eighty pounds uh-huh. to fifty six. Fifty six wow. pounds. I've actually got it with me today. Um, so I'll just get it here for you now. Show you and tell. Um, oh, how <laughs> how weird! I've brought up Milkman original merchandise, which oh, you can get no. at Milkman dot shop. That's, that's so weird. Weird. How did that just appear? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry. Here's here's the uh, here's the coat. Here's the coat. Um, oh, oh no, wait. <laughs> it's more milkmen merchandise. <laughs> like <laughs> that's so weird that you can get it at milkmen dot shop. I don't know how this keeps happening. It's crazy. It's wild. Oh no, wait. It's it. No, this is getting old. <laughs> <laughs> you can also get hats. So check it out. Milkmen dot shop. <laughs> I'm going to say no, you need to design joggers because I want some joggers. Yeah. You don't fucking grow. Sorry. All right. So sorry. No need for that, was it? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, hang on. What about the shit? I need to, I need yeah, to know. Yeah, that's why I need to know. <laughs> okay, so basically, I was... Um, this was <laughs> this morning, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And this is true. So I text Ellis and I was like, are you awake? Because he wakes up later than me. I, I have to get up for work because I'm not a fucking scumbag. Um, so I, I text him. I was like, are you awake yet? And he goes, yeah. So I, I go, okay, get on Discord. And then he did. And I realized I couldn't call him on Discord. So I messaged, I uh, started video calling him on Facebook. He answers it and he's on the shitter. <laughs> and I'm just like, mate, what are you fucking doing? Why are you like, it's like, are you shitting? Yeah. <laughs> just hit the splash. <laughs> yeah. He just goes, he caught me at a good time. <laughs> just like, fuck's sake. Ended the call. We're just at that level of friendship now. I think. You think we're at that level of friendship, <laughs> Alice? Just, to oh. be honest, I could be like FaceTiming a stranger and I would say that as well. Yeah, probably. What but can yeah. you do? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not. Yeah. What else was in your week? Something about school? I nearly died in a high school. Hospital, you know, did yeah. you just say? No, high school. I nearly died in He's high school. He's not allowed to go to school anymore. But that's for a completely different reason. That's unrelated. Yeah, yeah we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> so <laughs> what if you actually had a, like, what's it called? A restraining order? Why are we actually hypothetical? Like, why is this... <laughs> it's not <a> hypothetical. Com- <laughs> <laughs> no, why no, why are just, we making this a thing? I'm asking for a, a restraining order against schools. No, so if you had a restraining order to go a certain distance to a school, but you wanted to go to the gym that is near to you, then no, you can't, because oh, okay. you've got a restraining order. I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so a bit of context. Obviously, I joined the gym with Chris, which is in a high school. Mm. Well, I think I think it's now a leisure centre yeah. just on its own entity, but it used to be a high school. It's got a swimming pool, right? Yeah, and it's 
fucking boiling. Like they have the heating on in a gym full of people. I mean, mm-hmm. and I, I, I sweat. So, <laughs> mate. I mean, if you're a single of either gender, I think that's a benefit for them. If you're what? A single of either gender. What do you mean? Just strip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Got you. Because people have sex. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So it's dead hot. And uh, I, d- I didn't yeah, really it's... enjoy that because nearly passed out. Also, out, literally, because it is a high, well, it used to be a high school. I went to the toilet. <laughs> Oh no! And the toilets are the size of like children's toilets, <laughs> fucking tiny. So please, just wanted to bring that. So up. please tell me that you took a fat fucking shit inside the urinal. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was like, what was he shat in like a, a bidet or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> just the sink. <laughs> no, not yet, but I'm planning it. Oh, can you film it so we've got? Mate, content. what is with you? <laughs> what? <laughs> shit in in front of each other. There's a swimming pool there, so shit in the pool as well. Just... No, but yeah. That was my I'm week. glad that you shared that with us. Mm. Yeah. So, oh, I've, oh, sorry, Alice. I've remembered something I did in the week. Oh. I gave zero context okay. to my job. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so Go I on. had to move things into the basement in work. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys this. No. You told me. So loads of stuff in the basement, and it's because we're having kids in the basement. Do you need any more information? I don't think so. Can no, I, I visit your workplace? Is that my workplace? The Where? place that you work? Yep. That's the place that I work, the workplace. And there's kids in the basement. There's going to be kids in the basement. <laughs> but we've a... cleared it out. For the kids. <laughs> They're going to be happy. And that's why I have to move all this stuff down. It's Chris like, is just divulging things. the plans of a crime right here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to admit illegal. to much more? Or? No, I mean, I, I think if I give context, it makes it less Funny. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... Or it's, it's... it makes me commit even further to what yeah. I'm doing. You know? So can yeah. you give a little context of what your actual like workplace is for? I don't think we need it. <laughs> no, no, because I think that adds to the value of why and how how does that cross? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Just give a really brief description of what your job is and then leave it at that because... So I support people that have been abused. <laughs> and he's got children working There's for children him. children in the basement. <laughs> They're getting that's... supported. So you're basically like hate child, but you're letting kids into the basement. I respect it. <laughs> anyway, do it. should we move on? Please do. Has anyone got any news? Don't <laughs> don't say no, Sean. Shut up. Stop trying to gaslight me. Has anyone actually got any news that they want to bring up? I've got this one little nugget that I just wanted to bring up. Can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what he said, Chris. <laughs> you just caught cotton in this ear. Cotton, no. <laughs> oh my god! Man. Whoa! What's wrong with you? Where's this going? Picking cotton. God oh, damn it! No. You just honestly, Alex. So wrong, wrong with you, yeah. lad. It's hard to work. Um, are you sure you want to yeah. say this? Because I do. It's got nothing to do with cotton or whatever. He hears wrong. Um, I was going to talk about Dan. No, not Dan. What's his name? The guy from Rick and Morty. I was going to say that, but Justin Roiland. Mm. Yeah. It just it was just like recent news. Wasn't Mad it? thing. Hey Morty, I sent myself into a. The wife beat him, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> right, doesn't doesn't the whole story of him beating his wife and all that, and also he's a bit of a nonce, isn't he? It's come mm. out. Didn't mm-hmm. he like put someone in jail, like falsely accuse someone? Of getting yeah, his wife. For it? Yeah, well, yeah. It was his wife. Yeah, yeah. But now that you've known that, watching old episodes of Rick and Morty back, you know the episode where Morty is basically going to get raped oh, yeah. by a Mister Jelly Jellybean. Mm. Isn't that really yeah, fucking weird yeah. that he is. he's, he's the like, creator of that show? And he's the voice, isn't he, as well? And he's the, the yeah. <laughs> he's literally voiced a child getting yeah. sexually assaulted. Um, I was going to... This is going to get a bit like... Mate, what is the matter with you? <laughs> he's just gone, that's fucking hot. <laughs> Don't blame him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, oh, fuck. like, do you know much about how the show got picked up? Like, how it, like, started? Not really. So... Justin Roiland did like this, like I think this is during his college years, where he made like a little short of a concept of Rick and Morty, right? And it was basically um, Rick and Morty in I think they were named differently in this thing he made, but um, it was a scenario of the two of them in the garage, and they were like saying, "Oh, the end of the year universe is coming, Morty, you're gonna have to suck my balls." And guess what? They fucking animated it. They animated Morty doing the deed. Where can I find that? <laughs> <laughs> Link? Question mark? Yeah. Generally, I like 
a couple of years back, I found out about this. I'm like, oh, that's funky. That's really weird. Now you got this context to it, and you're like, yeah, seriously though, where can I? <laughs> where can I get that? It's probably footage? on YouTube, you know. I reckon yeah. definitely. There's some, and so yeah, so there was that, and then there's also like the weird messages he's been sending to like girls. Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. He was, was like, but at the end of it, he was like, JK. <laughs> JK, yeah. Uh, what was it he said? It's like, oh, you should get like. I don't know. He said something really yeah. twisted, and then he just goes, "JK." Yeah. It's like, <laughs> lol. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so quirky. Yeah. yeah. So creepy. You know? It is fucking weird. Like the last thing I think we're gonna know him for is this video game that came came out with quite. Yeah. Recently. I, oh, mate. It's, it's such a gun. fucking funny game yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh-huh. I haven't played it, but I've Neither seen footage I. of it. Oh my god, it's hilarious. And now it's gay because <laughs> he's gay. Well, no, he's a not. Well, he made Sorry, an animation. Say it's gay as like a bad term it's no he, a bad sucky. game so yeah i take back the gay i don't <laughs> <laughs> he takes on the game. i'm not hang on i'm gonna have to clarify this. i'm not saying gay is bad okay you got let's move on let's move on <laughs> slippery yeah. slope here anyone got any uh other news they want to bring up no okay um, yay <laughs> <laughs> uh so in gaming news the day before has everyone heard of this game coming mm. out well supposedly coming out it's just not though is it Right, so you've heard of it. It's just not. Chris, have you? Yeah, it's that. Like, uh, well, I'm explaining. Uh, you're going to explain. explain it if you haven't minute, heard of it, yeah. right. I have heard. I'll explain. So the game was originally. <laughs> yeah, just interrupt, yes. Danny. It's fine. Just <laughs> cough all over me, mate. It's whatever. I didn't want COVID. Uh, the game was originally due for release in. Mate, what is the matter with you? Stop swearing at me. Uh, it was originally due for release in June 2022, before being delayed until March 1st, 2023, last year. So it was delayed again last year. Um, and the developer is called Fantastic, and they revealed that the day before would be delayed by eight months after the studio failed to trademark the game's name. It's now set to release on November 8th. Now, for reference, first of all, their track record of making games has been absolutely abysmal. Like mm-hmm. They've made a game, and then they've either sold it, or it's got a few thousand players on it, and then they've just given up and just completely fucking abandoned it. It's really strange, but isn't it? Every single game that they make, they either sell it on and don't give a shit about it, or... They just abandon it completely. And also, they have never made like a triple A rated game. It's all been like shit ones on Steam that mm. a few people play. I will say this, not about that studio alone, but your statement about uh, a studio not making a triple A title is you've heard of Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. That's being helmed by a studio that has made pretty much really small Disney films, uh, films, games. Like they made a, the last video game they made before this Hogwarts one was a fucking like cars racing game. Yeah, but are you saying that in terms of like they made pretty low games before, but they've made a really great game? Is that what your point is? I don't know if they've made a really great game. This Hogwarts Legacy Studio. So it looks amazing, mm. but from the reviews, I've heard it's absolutely. Shocking. I've heard mixed, yeah. So it's just like starting from a really small position into this massive scope mm. it can go either of two ways or it can just not come out like the day before might mm. but a bit of context behind the day before so they originally uh released a trailer for the game like uh, i think it was in 2021 january mm. and it looked absolutely amazing like the graphics it had rtx it was fucking insane mm-hmm. there was like so many elements to the game that everyone would want it's like mix of uh zombies so it's got like sort of daisy elements it's got um what's that uh division is it division yeah Yeah. division it's got that element and it's like you can build your own hut and you can do this you can do that it looked absolutely amazing and then you know after the a few years it's sort of got some um people saying you know this starting to look a bit fishy now so then they released some more footage of the actual game and if you compare this new footage to the trailer in 2021 they look completely fucking different. It's really strange, isn't it? It's like they just kind of just left it and then said, oh shit, we still need to make a, a game. Yeah, and it's then... like they left it to the very last minute and then went, oh shit, hang on. Yeah, people are catching on to this. We need to mm. fucking do something about it. But saying that, we could all be very wrong and it could come out and still be shit, but there's still a, a game. Yeah, it's it's weird though because like they're not making any money from it. So I have no idea why they would try and fake a game. Like, because they're not making any money from people wishlisting it on Steam. No. Well, I'm guessing there's some sort of sponsorship going on because if you've noticed, uh, you might have seen this, Danny, like any presentations NVIDIA's been doing recently, they've had some kind of 
partnership with the day before mm. like just showcasing the technology yeah, being showing used. ray tracing and exactly stuff like that, yeah. so mm -hmm. maybe there's like some funding going into it but it wouldn't like be used to actually like develop this game no because it's then, an independent there's so many weird things about it like they've been asking for volunteers what yeah i didn't they know were, that yeah so i think it was in their discord or something they were like asking for volunteers to come and work on the game for free nah man that's shit. which is just fucking like why would if it's such a good game that's like it must have loads of funding in it why would they ask for people to work on it for free I'm... anyway yeah so i hope that comes out soon <laughs> <laughs> so it just won't when when's the date again 2020 2020 well no i mean in it, supposedly they, yeah they um they had an issue with like copyright or something trademarking the name the day before and anyway, i was going to say this about that game because I saw um, pictures of like it was getting it clearly had ripped from other other footage of other games. Like really? Cod and the, yeah, and it looks identical. And I they, didn't know that. Yeah, and they just like changed like the gun or like. Yeah, I'm least. pretty sure they've actually taken just ripped um, files and stuff clips from the division. Really? Like, wandering around the abandoned streets of New York, Spe or Washington. Even speaking of things being ripped, the um. The logo they use is like shockingly similar to how they use it for The Last of Us. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I saw that. That's today. definitely a tactic. Try to get attention. Yeah, but they they also um, they had this problem with like the trademarking. So mm. <clears throat> they released the game, uh, the first trailer in 2021, like I said, and then obviously the name the um, day before. Mm -hmm. But then they didn't trademark the game name when they released it. It's like. Could you be any more fucking stupid? So some random cunt in Korea just went, oh, hang on. I'm going to fucking trademark it. And then he did. And then the uh, the game got t taken off Steam hmm. because the guy was just like, well, I own the trademark, get it off. So Ooh. then they had to pay him off. It's like, are you fucking stupid? So there's literally like no trust there. There is this. Like, like every little detail you learn about it, it just like, it drops quality, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Especially, I, I think I might be wrong but i think the studio is based in russia i don't know well that's good isn't it yeah <laughs> it's just putin on the net <laughs> <laughs> scam in the world how do i code <laughs> it's gonna be like most of their <clears throat> missiles it doesn't fucking work properly <laughs> <laughs> moving on wait in... wait I have, I have no game that's news. why they oh you have game, news. I have game news okay go on so sons you know the sons of forest yeah mm. they've um they've come out with a statement i'm pretty sure saying that the game is currently not finished in development. Oh, I've heard of but us. Because they have already postponed it once, <clears throat> they're going to release it anyway. Okay. And then just do quick fixes, proper updates right. as soon as, as as quickly as they can to Mate, get the I game. shat myself then because I'm well excited for this game yeah. and you started saying that. Just get to the point, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a heart attack. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the forest isn't coming out. <laughs> it's, so it's not called an I can't remember what the terminology they use in Steam, but it's not an early build, it's something uh, early access, I believe. That's it. That's what they're calling it. But it's still coming out 20 yes. right. Which I think is like a very like courageous thing to do because mm. they could definitely have been like, now nah, we're keeping this close to our chests. Yeah. We really want this to be perfect. Now that they're, they're willing to like yeah, they, they... show the kinks in their mm. work and let people actually have feedback mm. and like improve the work. You're, you're going to talk about the kinks, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You dirty, dirty man. He knows me too well. You got something wrong with you, aren't you? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Any yeah. other gaming news before I move on? Not to my knowledge. Chris. Nothing. No. How's your COD going? Oh, yeah. We played a game of COD yesterday, and it didn't go as well as we hoped. No, because he was on our team. Oh, sure. don't look like you're really good at the game, <laughs> mate. You're no, shit. I think we're all equally as bad, because yeah. the whole, the whole I think premise of what we're doing... Yeah, what we won't divulge yeah, what we're doing yeah. because it's no, going to be no, a... by the time this is out the video will be out oh so. will it yeah yeah okay, okay so it's the uh... so you know how bad it went <laughs> <laughs> basically yeah so it's from our first video obviously us three recording it no, and... i'm gonna be more confident you know how well it went <laughs> no. i mean the video turned yeah. out well so how good I was like... that win that we did yeah, yeah. amazing go and check it out <laughs> <laughs> anyway i hope you don't get the win but <laughs> but i will say it's weird i feel like i do better in the gulag than i do in the entirety of like yeah the it's MC weird the like you kill everyone in the gulag and no one in the game I, it's really helpful yeah. <laughs> did i tell you the time i went back onto xbox to try and learn controller on cod and i couldn't do it 
Well, I can understand that with first-person shooters because, like, you you're playing nothing but Valorant. Yeah, go, going from mouse and keyboard back to a controller is it's weird, unreal. Isn't it? It's it's weird the opposite way as well because mm. obviously I've just bought my PC, so going back to Valorant on mouse and keyboard. Mm. Fucking hard. I was going to mention uh, sometime in the future when I actually get my PC, I am literally just playing on controller because this was nothing to do with like me shade giving shade to Kim keyboard and mouse. It's like my hands literally struggle using keyboards to game. Really? Like I've got like a weird flex thing. Yeah, I've got weird fingers. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. I can't. Um, weird looking I- hands. <laughs> You see this? You're just weird looking. To be- <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Carry on. Good. Um, no, I've just got like weird joints in like the bottom of my hands, so I can't actually like uh, function properly. You got in Parkinson's games. or something? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You never know. <laughs> Give it 20 <laughs> years and see if it pops up. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In world news, Prince Harry, he released his book, didn't he? Oh, so- Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Have we all read it? Ellis, come on. You've got to stop leaving. <laughs> Have we all read it or did <laughs> no? No. Yeah, it's called Spare, read. isn't it? Oh shit, yeah, you can't read, can you? <laughs> I'll just give Danny, what up. about you? Have you read it? Yeah. <laughs> Audio book. <Which, laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, you yeah can we have audio. like a segment where it's just Danny's book corner? <laughs> <laughs> He's just blindly looking at any book, <laughs> screaming. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was released on the 10th of January 2023, and a source told US Weekly on the 12th of January that Charles, King Charles, mm. Charlesy boy, is <laughs> outraged by what Harry wrote about his wife, Queen Concert Camilla, in Spare, his book. Mm. Quote, Charles is distraught. He's angry and outraged that Harry's aired so many embarrassing and dam- but damaging assertions, and it's put him in a terrible position with Camilla, of course. Now that she's been dragged into the equation, the insider said. Well, she was Bit already... of fucking royal drama. She was always in the equation because of the affair back in the 90s. What? <laughs> Camilla. He has, nothing, he has no idea. I have no fucking idea. So, I literally so, couldn't so give less of a thing. fuck. I'm not a royalist by any chance, but um, I'm a big fan of the uh, Netflix series The Crown. Okay. But it's really, really well made. Yeah. But like... The, the like little tidbits of information about the whole royal family just get fucking drilled into your brain because it's like it's just really good at uh, catching you because it's it doesn't feel real it feels like some kind of dramatization of like a fictional world but they make it feel really believable as well but you're not a royalist thank fucking god <laughs> chris are you oh, there goes all our royalist subscribers <laughs> oh shit no we love the ro- hang on what if there's people that really hate the royals? What if we want to appeal to them? Well, we can just accommodate both sides. Let's appeal to both. We have no opinion on anything about the royals. We don't have any opinions. Ever. I love the royals. We... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. I don't even know half the names of them. Held a gun point. Behind <laughs> <them>. <laughs> the fucking Charles is just there, like <laughs> you'll fucking say you love us. You fucking will, mate. Okay. Damn it. I love Charles, <laughs> especially Charles. <laughs> Would you shag Charles? Yes. Yeah, just for the clout, you know what I mean? He could, he could <laughs> shag the king. <laughs> he could literally just shag you with those yeah, sausage fingers he's got. Yeah, I've seen them. They're chunky. Mate, they yeah, I've seen chunky. photos of him. Like, yeah. There's something wrong with that fella. Somebody's... It's insane fans. No Are wonder sure? Camilla's still married to him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck I think somebody's hell. actually, a, like a medical expert said it's something to do with like heart disease or something. Yeah, yeah man's going to die soon. Yeah. <laughs> How old the jinx? Let's go. No, stop doing that. Just give me a fist bump, Chris. Your fist. Okay, come on, man. Get up in there. How old was the queen when she passed? 26. <laughs> She's she was at man. least 26. Yeah. Now that's like when her reputation ended. What did she pass? Huh? COVID. Oh. Um, she was like 96, 97, 98. Why are you looking at me? He asked the question. Um, he's like, me? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't she pay was attention. Like fit? What? She was like... F- Big up Lizzo. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, <what? laughs> yeah. Big up She was Lizzo. a real one. She, she was, was a real she was the one. Real we lost one. a real one today, yeah. boys. <laughs> Do you remember all those like wacky um like suspensions of like channels and I th- I'm pretty sure like the Wii U had a fucking like pop up screen that said in commemoration of the passing of Queen Elizabeth, like the online store is going offline for 24 hours or something like that. <laughs> I might be making that up, but that sounds <laughs> legit. Do you want to hear a quote from the book? 
please. I'm fairly sure you've all heard of it because it's like the No, I, I don't. Okay, so basically this is the quote. This is what Harry wrote. Okay. My penis was oscillating between extremely uh, sensitive yeah. and borderline traumatized. The last time, the last place I wanted to be was, uh, wait, fuck, I can't read. It's okay. Sorry, Danny. Passing it on to me now. <laughs> the last place I wanted to be frostbitten. I'd been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. She'd urged me to apply Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden cream. Okay. Arden cream. <laughs> <laughs> my mum used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? He asked. Harry goes on to describe his todger as softened by the cream. So, I'm probably going to buy this book after I've heard this. <laughs> so, just for medical advice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know it went that explicit. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. He's fucking weird. Mm. Well, like, wasn't he, like... I remember, like, when I was a kid and he got, like, done out from being in the military and, like, throwing out racial slurs when he was... Like in Afghanistan or something. He said Open. something else. Like the ro- now all the royals are under fire um, because he said when he went to war he didn't like he killed however oh, many yeah. people. Oh, yeah. He said something like he saw them as pawns in on a chessboard. He didn't see them as people. Jesus. Mm. So then now all the people that he he's killed like that I can't remember who the fuck it was, but they were like, was it they're Afghanistan? Dead. No, I know they're dead. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> weak. Um, <laughs> you dumbass. They get a quote from them. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> no but that country they're like obviously really upset with the royals now because he's called them pawns that is what are they gonna do throw a few so, stones okay let, let's <laughs> set what, are the... go, what are they gonna do let's get set... shot again <laughs> <laughs> let's set the line between like excluding the history of like the royal family what's the difference between them and pop stars like the kardashians what's the difference now less plastic surgery Yet, the queen's fit. Less power. Less power. Ooh, I like I mean, that. I don't know. I mean, that's, King that's Charles a... can literally walk I don't know into um, yeah, but they're the all chamber f- is, pick up a staff, and then boom, he has all control over the country. He can make every law, take every law away. Yeah, he could, but he's a boring fucking so... re- that won't do anything. <laughs> like, get rid of the government, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he can. He has the dis- power to get rid of the government. <laughs> they're fucking idiots, and he doesn't. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure fucking Kim Kardashian can't go, hey, I don't want this government, and they're still going to be fucking... Isn't she a lawyer Yeah, now, she though. could, mate. She has a ways. <laughs> she has a law degree now, right? Video. <laughs> <laughs> what videos, Chris? What are you talking about with Kim Kardashian videos? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, just certain ones that what I we, might have watched last night. What are we talking about? There's, um, there's Speaking back to uh, Parks and Recreation, there's a good joke about uh, the Kardashians. Yeah, Do you know about this? Take. Yeah. yeah. It's... um. Like one of the main comeback act- story, comeback yeah. story. Yeah. and then I they're just I've naming different uh, actors with comeback story, and then Chris Pratt says uh, <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Yeah, she's come like, on her back, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have seen that. There's also a clip of him shitting himself. <laughs> what? You, what I, Danny's what? just wrote on his what? phone, bored. <laughs> All right, fine. Right, move I mean, on. Move on. He we might as well just get Danny some Lego. Yeah. Yeah. Kill me. Okay. He's just wrote, kill me. Do you want to share that with he's the class? Gonna, he's going to have help me written so everyone... Like... How can you read that? Because I wrote it, you know, I know what I'm writing. I know how to... Are you sure? So if are. you wrote a book, you'd be able to read it? <laughs> it no, it's once just... it's printed, no. But I know what I've written. <laughs> just imagine that. So I don't that, have to like, be able to read it. I Danny just, know just writes a book. So if you made a, a customised font in your writing, right. could you read a book? No. That's really the weird. What is the matter with your brain, mate? Imagine that he just wrote a really like personal biography and it's just in his handwriting. <laughs> and just nobody no, else can write it. Yeah, no one could be, it. would be able to read that. Yeah. Moving on. TV and film. Mm. This is... I'm really excited for this. Okay. Magic Mike's Last Dance <laughs> releases on 10th oh. of February, 2023. Oh, yeah. Are we all going? No. Goddamn. Shut, what? Can we go just either dance. shirtless or in suits? Why not we both? Have our own dance. Oh, oh, damn. As well. We're just all like wearing a blazer <laughs> and nothing else. Yeah, we've got to rock up in like mafia gear. <laughs> mafia you know gear. I mean? <laughs> Bow tie. Walking in. Yeah. An ascot. Yeah. Or just completely naked. I really like that one. It suits the film. You like that so. one. Mm. Mm. Doesn't mean I have to go buy a suit then. Birthday suit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Birthday suit is right, my yeah, friend. Yeah, it's still technically a suit. Yeah. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah. So, so just get your nothing there. but a tie. 
<laughs> but yeah, the, the film is projected to earn $46 billion at the box office. What? Yep, genuinely. <laughs> with well-known new, well known food critics saying, this is the film to watch, this is the film of the century. And other critics adding, this film will cure hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where that information came from, to be fair, but it's written on here. <laughs> it's just in your handwriting. I don't writing. think he'll do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see it. Damn. I haven't even watched any of the last films. But apparently the first one's actually kind of like grounded and gritty and kind of yeah, like, I think quite so. engaging. But th- obviously this is the third film of like the Magic Mike sort mm. of series. Uh, but the gist of this one is there's a bloke whipping his cock out. That's about it. I'm watching it. So there's and no magic. Day one. That is, gonna get a hat and... that is the magic. That is the magic. Man gets his cock out. That is magic, long. mate. Uh, Poof. Boom. It's there. <laughs> magic is the friends that we made along the way. <laughs> yeah. but he pulls his cock out of a hat. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> In his box. Oh. <laughs> That's fucking stretchy, dude. Right, I've got a question for all of you. Hmm. So I can get to know you all a little bit more. Very well. Chicken nuggets or fish fingers? Chicken nuggets. Yeah, chicken nuggets. Um, so... I grew up with fish fingers. Oh, and then mate, I, just answer And I transitioned to chicken nuggets. You asked for a like, personal yeah, answer, so there's your personal... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go on. <laughs> no, I said my piece. He's, he's moved over to the nuggets. My bad. The table, lad. <laughs> I said. I don't know which one it was. Chicken nuggets. Why are you all weird? Wait, so you're fish fingers? Over chicken nuggets, yeah, every you're day. What? Freak. Every no, day, weird. Who you're traumatised you? You. Don't get me wrong. When, I, I, when I saw your shit this morning. Yeah, fair <laughs> point. <laughs> it was in the shape of a fish finger, so I'll give you that. Mm, really? So you're all chicken fingers. nuggets? Yeah. 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 Don't get me wrong. I rape fish fingers. Yeah, I don't. You rape fish fingers? Oh. <laughs> My man. Someone's got him, you know. <laughs> what did you actually say? Rate. Oh. That, <laughs> yeah. that makes a lot I more know, sense. That's crazy. You would have thought. You always got <laughs> rape on the brain, you sick yeah. fuck. I'm sorry. Honestly, you get help. But really. wh- why? what makes fish fingers more appealing than chicken nuggets? He's shoving up his arse. Smell? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. They're just nice. Okay. You are wow. a freak. Really? You are oh, okay. Freak. Well, so you're saying you prefer, because you can barely get fish fingers in like most restaurants, um, you'd prefer going to like a superstore to get fish fingers in a frozen aisle rather than just go to a quick McDonald's and just get a couple of nuggies. No, I would do neither. In McDonald's, I would get a fish fillet. So controversial and wrong, mate. You, you are disgusting. You are. Th- right. Hang on a minute. We've said some questionable shit on this podcast this so far. Yeah. This is the, the fourth worst. episode in, and this is the worst thing I've yeah, said. Yeah, definitely. 100%. I'd rather if you just bought bread in McDonald's, of course. Just the bun. Just the bun. Yeah. Go to, go yeah. order your fish fillet and go without the fish. <laughs> I want a fish fillet. Hold the fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Because you just. It's just wrong, mate. Honestly, I don't know how. Who goes to McDonald's for fish fingers or fish fillet? Yeah, it's it's nice. Don't knock it until you tried it. That's all I'm saying. I don't like fish, so don't you? No, fish is fucking banging, but just not fingers. Banging fish now. Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at Watch Milkmen for behind the scenes and extra content, and also because we give away free prizes. We definitely don't. <laughs> but anyway, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with at Watch Milkmen. There you go. Oh, that's done. Drop that in there. Drop Smooth. that in quickly. Smooth that. So yeah, no one professional. Knows. Segment four. <laughs> Curdled conversation. <laughs> don't look at me like that when you say that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. A conversation between all of us where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions. So the hypothetical question for today, you can time travel. Mm. What event would you go like would you go back to and change or witness or just see or whatever? No, I think it has to be change. Change. Otherwise like if you're if you're just a bystander no, then that's really upsetting. I don't want to change the thing I'd go to. <laughs> uh, okay, like, no, okay, I'll let you off. What the hell? <laughs> what were you gonna go Sick. do? Oh, God. Oh, you're going to change it? So, hang on a minute. No, I wasn't going to change it. I just wanted to witness it. What is the fucking matter with you, mate? <laughs> joking, so you, joking, so the I question mean... was, what would you change at any event in history? What would you change? I wouldn't change the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> List that that can stay. Just to clarify, you don't hate Jews. I don't hate Jews. Okay. I don't. And you don't, don't support the Nazis. I don't support the Nazis. But Polish people. 
I love Polish people. Oh, very okay, good. Okay, so. I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. <laughs> so hang on. Oh. So you would just go and Sweat. witness the Holocaust. Yeah. Why? Okay, you know we're not in the back. Of the <laughs> I'll buy you some popcorn, mate. Don't just worry. because it would be <laughs> thrilling. I I just want to see how fucked up it was. I mean, you could do that and still make a change. Could, uh, I was going to say you could read a book, but <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you could read about it, Danny. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of footage of it. Yeah, that's like, true. Fucking tons of it. It's scary. All right, where have you got this footage? <laughs> <Yeah>. Documentaries. <laughs> He's just sat there in bed like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Your hard it's drive on is dot com. <laughs> Chris, what would you go back and change watch or change? Yeah, or... we're going to go with change. Yeah, I would okay. go with change. I mean, 9-11 was pretty bad. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell, mate. So, I mean, maybe change that. How would you change that? You'd How would you stop change them that? The game? Just go, yeah, those planes, yeah, don't let them take off like. <laughs> sort of, you know Job which planes, done. where, from. And just, I would just go all planes. all planes on 9-11. Sorted. Job done. But Why would, would go... anyone listen yeah. to you? You're not even American. They didn't say they have to listen to me. You're saying, what would I change? <laughs> this is what the one thing I would change. Okay, but they yeah, have, no, you, but you have, have to, to change it. To okay, so fine. I go, I go there, and I go, I'm a terrorist. There we go. I'm going to blow up the planes. <laughs> Don't I let... tell them I get arrested, so what? I've stopped nine eleven. So, no, yeah, you but haven't. then you're in prison because, no, because you can't they, get back to they, your time machine. They will say we've got the terrorist job done, and okay, the planes okay. go. I'll say there's a bomb on the plane. So you're on the plane, mate. <laughs> this no, plan is no, not just, going I well. Just, I think call the best way... the airline say there's bombs on these two planes, yeah. and then you yeah. don't have to go there. Oh, okay. I don't have to say that I'm part of it. That, mm. Then, then that would be enough for them to be like, yeah. Do you know what? That planes. that is actually a good thing because. That would probably work because they would actually have to go and check because yeah, it's an exactly. actual inquiry. The only thing, that, if you look at the benefits, <laughs> <laughs> what the benefits of not using no, 9/11? No. I'm saying that there was added security measures after 9/11. To oh, oh right, again. you went a different way. Okay, yeah, no, I wasn't saying that. Like, yeah, no, it was dead easy to get on a plane yeah, before. So then. Yeah, you'd have to make sure, like, also change change that so they don't this doesn't happen again. Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. See, this is a tough question now because. We're talking about all these fucked up things about how we would change it, but there's like there's kind of things that went well. Yeah, it's like <laughs> those towers went down real well, you know. Oh, what I'm shit, shit happens and we benefit from it. That's how it works. It's how the world works. Yeah, that's how the world works. <sighs> Fuck. <sake>. Right, Alex. <laughs> what would you really go and... good answers though? What would you go and do? Uh, I'm gonna try and think of something that isn't as like obvious. Um, fucked up. Do you wanna Perfect. do you wanna know mine before? Yes, please do. So yeah. you can have a think. Right, this isn't something I would change because it's fucking hilarious. Mm. I would go and watch Chris lose his virginity. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which sounds weird. <laughs> it does. But it's fucking funny that how he has. No, could you imagine Why you did I that? Getting involved in the story? <laughs> you say that, you go back, and it's just way before he said he lost it. And it's just his dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's his uncle. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> Why am I in a room with a baby and a man that I don't know? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh, yeah. I forgot oh. about that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. That'd be a good watch, then. No, honestly, though. I, I would. That would be fucking Mom, get funny. the camera. Wait, Mom's participating. <laughs> I, I want to clarify. I wouldn't actually watch him have sex because I'm not asked about that. It's just what happened before. You've seen that before, anyway. What? what? Yeah, the before, so, like the development. The awkwardness. <laughs> he it's hates me now because he's got to tell the story. Yeah, there's a story. And Please. It's gonna go on the internet forever. Well, if you if you feel comfortable <laughs> sharing it, you don't have to, but. You, you can make to. it as okay. like vague as possible if you need to. Yeah, I'll just say how it was. Okay, <laughs> fair play. <man. laughs> Fucking funny though. Come on. <laughs> ah, fuck's sake. That was a load of build up and it isn't have, doesn't have to be this big thing. But pretty much, we went... Anyway, it doesn't really matter where I was and no, who I was no. with. But pretty much, I was on these like tablets that made me sick. <clears throat> so before it, I was sick. But it it was literally the worst right time. So she had just like got stripped off, and I was get, it was getting heated. <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh no, this ain't sitting right with me now." So it looked like I'd saw it and, <laughs> and then thrown up. up. Yeah. yeah. No. See, that's why oh. I want to go watch it because it would just be fucking funny. Now, oh. uh, I do want to see. Yeah. I changed whatever answer I was coming up with to that. Yeah. That's I mean, mad. hang on a minute. So you, we were doing the thing where you go back in time and change it, and you'd say you wouldn't change me not throwing. No, it. no, we would you just, just watch me. Yeah, I'd just watch it. We would have the time of our lives. 
It's a funny story. She I did not find it funny. <laughs> Although she I was bet she, she was, I, So I've just thrown her. And she's like, right, let's get back to it. <laughs> I've just thrown up in the fucking thing, mate. Let's sick it all down me. I'm a stink. <laughs> See? See, so, this is a good thing because that's attractive. just how attractive you are. Yeah. Why were you on these tablets, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's gross. I had a gross toe. So these toe picks that we can subscribe to on thinking. On our Milkmen Patreon. Yes. So patreon.com slash milkmen. You can have a membership where we actually send you pictures of our toes covered in milk. Let's just uh, be clear. When you get the photos, you won't actually know whose, whose toes, toes it, it is. is. Oh, you'll know and mine. Yeah. It's, I mean... I feel like they'd be able to guess because I we're mean, all pretty different statures. We're all pretty... I mean, his, each toe has got a little pair of glasses on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's toes are racist, so just that. Like, and Simon, Mine are really hairy. Mine are quite hairy imagine. as well, but Simon's are just like pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> just dirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stevens just don't oh. exist. They're just little nubs. Yeah. So yeah, go to our Patreon and purchase that, please, <coughs> if you want to support us more. Don't do it. Yes. I don't want to send you toe picks. You're, the, you're definitely going you're first. It was my idea. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you're definitely <laughs> going yeah. first. It's just Perfect. a flash down here now. <laughs> <laughs> I think don't look down it's all right. Are you actually going to go with that or are you going to... Have you yeah, got I'm going to go with that. I'm struggling to think of anything meaningful or funny. Oh, I can't believe I had to share that story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, bonus question. Mm. What law would you legalise? What law would I legalize? Yeah. Right. Before any of you say yours, can I, I say mine? I don't have anything yeah. twisted, though. Drink driving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? Well, I do it anyway, so yeah. okay. just make it Let's legal. Go together out there. Um, and who drives sober? Do you know what I mean? It's fucking boring. Exactly. When you're drunk. Wait, were you drunk on the way down to London? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I'd uh, crash my car. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> when we, uh, we made it here, you said on the drive towards my house that you nearly crashed three times. Yeah. So. <laughs> Had a few at the pub before we came here. <laughs> oh, mate, I want to go to a pub now. Yeah, no, that's, that's what I would do. Drink driving. Yeah, that's fair enough. Danny? I don't know. I don't know. It's can I can crimes. I go because I missed my no yeah, because yeah, yeah. the Geneva like, Convention doesn't affect civilians so that doesn't matter. I think it's like more like responsibility of like the general public and it's kind of like it's I feel like it's going to happen eventually or like some way of it is like legalizing marijuana. Really, like, that's what you go with. Yeah, like I can't think of anything like. That's not, yeah, like a, that's a safe one, isn't it? No. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, we probably need to tone it down a bit. <laughs> let's, let's keep it all safe from mm. now. Because I just like the idea of like not having to like walk down the street and just getting fucking overwhelmed by the smell. I like the idea of like it being somewhat controlled. In yeah. To, to this, yeah, it lacks uh, the control, doesn't it? And that's yeah. one of the issues. This is getting political. It's not really, because like you're just a bystander. Do you, yeah. want to, do you want to know one benefit if if it was legalized as well? Mm. It would become controlled, like you say, and then also they would it would be taxable. I'm yeah, money on it. Yeah, yeah. Man, imagine the income in this country if we just mar uh, legalized it. <laughs> that, that's, um... No one's pissing in a cup. I'm just filling up my bottle. Sponsored by Undisclosed Bottle. <laughs> We're gonna have to pixel like that, aren't we? Nah, it's fine. You, your logo is out of the way. I'm not editing that shit. I will. Um, is it my go? Mm -hmm. Yep. Age of consent? No. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. God. Didn't I just say we need to tone this down? <laughs> I'm going to hire it. Hire oh, okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, so that makes us a bit fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> to what age? 21. 60. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's at in this country right now. <laughs> and why? Why is that? No, I don't know. I'm just... I'm trying no, to be No, safe. you've said it now. You've got to go yeah, with it. Yeah, go on. Fuck it. 60-year-olds. Mm. Shaggable. Uh, they can't get pregnant. Are you sure about that? Well, I can try. You can try. Mm. They've probably you know, been around. Well, I mean, they have. They know they've they been around. They know what they're doing. Do they, though? Because they're virgins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they've got to break the law, right? Exactly. Just because... Uh, hang on, wait, There's wait. just a brothel just for six-year-olds. <laughs> so, hang on. So we're... We're legalizing the law, but mm. then I'm also I've just changed the law. So yeah, on. so it's got so, to yeah, be something you know, you, that's I've illegal. Got, I've got a yeah. So hang on, I need, I need to think of something else that that is illegal that you're going to change. That I'm going to change. 
tax fraud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then if everyone did it, it wouldn't be as fun. That's true. What about like, what you know the fucking... <laughs> What's this, Chris? Um, this is just boring. You know, like TV licensing. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a fucking waste Please. of money. Yeah, it? but it's only if you watch actual TV. Yeah. Like oh. you, can, you can have Netflix and Prime and all that and not have a TV license. Mm. Yeah, so, exactly. So I don't see the button. Literally, don't watch TV. Like as a uni student, we used to get consistent letters about TV licenses, and we didn't watch TV. Mm. Do you yeah. know the best things? Because they because as well, they come to your house, don't they? They're like, we know you've got a TV in there, mm. so you need a TV license. Best answer you can have is there's milk in the fridge. Don't have a fucking cow in the backyard, do I? Do you know <laughs> That's what I mean? Good. I like that. And it's related to us, but, milkmen. Yeah, but so, we might have a cow in the back. Cows. Of the house, so I mean, no. What I would do is <laughs> <laughs> you just hit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. Get him. No, what I was going to say is like I would bring the TV license guy in, show him the TV, and that it's just only connected to a fucking Wii, and then tell him to fuck off. Just some piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even plugged in. It's just in a bath of piss. <laughs> it, the guys just start <laughs> throwing up. <laughs> Danny, have you got a meaningful answer um, for us? Um, what would you legalise? Is there something that you've been like... Oh, no, you said tax fraud. I'd that's a cheap answer. It, yeah, I'm going to change it. Okay. Like, is there something in society that's really pissed you off that you can't get away with or you cannot do because of the law? This is sketchy. I know. You, no, you, you don't. Like speeding. <laughs> speeding. Speeding. speeding? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. That would be a good one for you. Mm. Speeding. Like yeah. 16 year schools. <laughs> I'm going more than that. Yeah. <laughs> 150 at least. Like. <laughs> yeah, speeding. I like going fast. <laughs> We'd still talk about driving, right? <laughs> all right moving on <laughs> moving on new segment today oh yeah I'm bored fucking hell <laughs> it's called one word at a time and as the name suggests we devise a story one word at a time if two two or more of us speak at the same time then we can vote on which word stays in the story the game is over when the story reaches a natural finish and the person who spoke the first word announces the end so one of us has to come up with a word and then you say that word, and then anyone else can then butt in, say the next word, <coughs> blah, 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 keeps going until the first person that said the first word goes the end. And it's just, that's it. Okay. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. What do you mean you're confused? It's like the most simple word, fucking process. Listen, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> say a word. And you say, someone, someone says okay. a word, okay. and that's then just, anyone yeah, else can. Okay. Right. Okay. So you did understand. Oh, fucking, I'm going to hit him. I'll come on you. <sighs> okay. Tempt him with a good time. Aren't yeah, I? like what the fuck? It has to be one word, guys. Come on. <laughs> Who wants to say the first word? Come, come, come on now. <laughs> okay, we change it. Then. Are we actually which come? Are we going with come, come in or come in? <laughs> come. <laughs> Just go with it's it. Only one word. Is a tasty drink <laughs> and quite large. <laughs> Large. That's yeah. why you went with yeah, it. <laughs> Come is quite tasty and quite large. But when I lick. drink. No, go okay, on. so go hang on. on. Lick or drink? Lick. lick. Oh. My <laughs> semen oh. off. It. Oh. it. Go it. with it. Okay. So when I drink my semen, it turns. Into children. <laughs> <laughs> that I find very. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Very attractive. Okay. Although now I think I'm. Gay. <laughs> Be- Wait, someone else. Okay, so someone else. I said gay. Because when I think of come my penis doesn't shrink. erode. Ooh. Erode or shrink? Why shrink. erode? I don't know. Shrink. 
Oh, bell's gone. <laughs> that's the end of our scene. <laughs> and that's it. That's Time for lunch. End. We're going. Are you See you later. See the end. This is a yeah, long this sentence. This is a long. The end. Was it you first? Yeah, yeah you it was. Said come. So how did it end? <laughs> uh, the guy licks his own semen, turns into children, but now, when he thinks of his children, he turns gay. Because when he. <laughs> Wait, so how, where did this go? Where did this go? I can't actually yeah, remember. It went, it went downhill. This went real <laughs> south. <laughs> I think that we're onto a winner with this segment here. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, I great. think I think um, I think it's sort of shown our true colours yeah. because we all literally immediately went to licking our oh, own. I, when I said a road, I meant engorge. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try again? And not no, make it no, so no, okay. That no, one is the staple of episode four. Of okay. I managed to do that for a whole podcast. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, moving on. Final segment, which is Simon's milk facts. And obviously, oh. Simon's in a coma, but luckily, I knew he was going to go into one. So I actually got him to record some milk facts Ooh, for me. Okay, oh, that's okay. amazing. Yeah. So I'll get them up here. Um, well. So. Uh, <laughs> one. He just put sorry, just had to clear my throat. Back, so. <laughs> so here's the actual milk fact for today. Milk is the source of every dairy product that you can think of. Wow. See? That's, that's wild. That is incredible. He's not wrong, is he? Incredible. It's almost like that's what dairy means. How dairy <laughs> go into a coma. Well, well he did that when he was in the coma. That's really impressive. Mm. Yeah, man. You you basically went to him in the hospital and you just like used him as a puppet. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we are. Nice. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Let's let's end this thing now. Thank you for listening to episode four of the Milk Bar Podcast. If you'd like to support the Milkmen even further, head to our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkmen with a multitude of membership levels available. You can get early access to our videos, bonus content, your name in the videos, and also, if you're willing to pay it, you can get pictures of our toes covered in milk. We're not joking. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for the chance to win Simon's old bed sheets. We're genuinely giving that away. And make sure to click the bell to be notified for future content. We'll see you next time in the next episode, and thank you so much for your support recently, even if you all do stink. <gasps> <laughs> What the fuck?